Welcome for force. Today we want to look at the Riddling, Riddling session. Um, what I mean here is that we are going to look at the literary aspect of the riddle. The riddle in the literary sense. What is the literature? What is the literature in the riddle? What is the literature in the riddle? So, there are two things here. We can look at the literariness. The literariness of the riddle. We can also look at performance. Performance of the riddle. But today, I want us to center our discussion on the literariness of the riddle. What is the literature that pervades the riddle? So, as you know, that um, we have always known that riddle is a uh, a short form together with the pun, proverb, saying, tongue twister, etc. These are the what? These are the fixed forms, short fixed forms. That is a very important aspect of the riddle. You know, as opposed to the long forms like the narrative, song, poetry, chants, etc. etc. So the riddle is an important form of oral literature for which we take the assumption that it is a, a short fixed form. We talk of the word assumption. It is assumed that it is a short, fixed form. But there is a lot of criticism as to whether it is actually a short form or it is a long form because we have very long riddles. So the riddle is an important form of oral literature for which we take the assumption that it is a short, fixed form and for which we shall pay particular attention to its form and the nature of performance. Now, today we are going to look at the form. There, on the screen you see form and performance. We have form and we have performance. Look at the last line there. There are two aspects there. <coughs> form, sorry, form deals with the literariness, but Performance that looks on presentation, delivery. I said the other fixed forms are puns, tongue twisters, proverbs, and sayings. Now, I want you to look at the seven moves of riddle act. But there are terms there I want you to pay keen interest on. One is the antecedent, one is the antecedent. Antecedent. The second one is precedent. 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 One is the antecedent, and the second one is precedent. Then we have the unraveling. Unraveling. Unraveling or unveiling. Then from there we have the crowning, crowning, the crowning, then finally uh, we have the alpha major declamation, 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 affirming, 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 and finally agreement, agreement. 
increment. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. These are the seven moves. In other words, when we talk about moves, we talk about what happens, starting with the antecedent. Assuming that it has been posed, the antecedent says, let it come. There are some jargon there, and that jargon is the, the, the language of origin, which has been translated. You know, literature is based on a community, and that community is that whose language we can see there. Antecedent says, let it come. Precedent says, what is a person? Precedent is the one who is saying here, what is a person? Then how do you unravel that? Say, a creature that God created. Then how do you crown it? I have crowned, I have given you a chief. Then declamation or a chant, that is where the chanting is. And I throw him a manly wrestle. Then we have affirmation, yes, that is it. Finally, agreement, you have won us. You have won us. And that is supposed to be the end of that of the seven moves of the riddling uh, session. Now, some of the literary points to note on the riddle is that one, the riddle is more often in how performance is done, style, than in the riddle question and answer statement. So, how, when you go out there and a riddle is being performed, it is more about how it is performed that is the style than the question or the content of the riddle and the answers given or the statements. A riddling is the poetry of everyday life, of everyday living. Riddling is the poetry of everyday living. You find riddles everywhere. People are riddling even without intent. They riddle. Riddles are a verbal and non-verbal collaboration discourses. It's a discourse, not necessarily short, fixed forms. So, the 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 new day, or the ordinary, or conventional understanding that the riddles are short, fixed forms. It must be understood that they are verbal and non-verbal collaboration. They are discourse. A discourse cannot be a, a short fixed form. It is something that is done within a certain period of time. Riddle performance creates new knowledge and understanding, social views and vocabulary. One, new knowledge. During riddling, new, new knowledge is gained. Two, there is understanding and there is the social, the social view. And then, Vocabulary depending, that is what finally you will come to notice that we refer to as a register. The riddle is embedded or embodied or structured, I can say, in people's life, both as text and quality of language in use. Riddles are therefore useful in shaping the quality of socialization. People socialize. People socialize. They meet, they group themselves, they play in the field, they work in the farms, they are in the classrooms reading, they are in church, they are at workplaces, everywhere. Play fields, children are playing everywhere, old people are playing, or they are gathered somewhere, they are looking at social uh, um, encounters of life. So you find that riddling is useful in shaping their quality of socialization. How about competencies that would bring out people's latent capacity to engage with each other? They engage with each other, but you know, you need to be competent as you engage with each other with a lot of imagination so that you, you bring the planet or the world 
in a consolidated manner. You consolidate the world or the planet through riddling. When I talk about world or planet, we are talking about that small world of yours, that small world or that small planet of yours. But I know there are some riddling or riddles that have extended their boundaries, their frontiers have gone further than we know. They have become world acclaimed. They have taken a world view so that a riddle has been accepted in uh, uh, the United States, has been accepted in uh, Britain, it has been accepted in China, it has been accepted in Africa, Asia, and the rest of the world. Imminent human development possibilities. Imminent human development possibilities, I mean, the emerging, the coming, the yet to come, they are about to come. The closely looming human development possibilities in the context of sustainability can be made from collective intelligence of people evident in high quality riddling conversations. That high quality riddling conversations can create the context of sustainability, sustain that riddle so that it can leave the test of time. Now, reading sessions are accepted as a part of literacy. We learn in school. So the reading sessions are accepted as part of literacy or intellectual work and greater learning. How? One, efficient aesthetic ritual performance recording technology featuring verbal and nonverbal uh, uh, cues. How? That there is a, a recording technology that records the performance, that records the efficient aesthetic value of the riddle. This one has been done so that there can be a record for riddles to be done or to be used in academic circles. Two, collaborative, collaborative work between languages to develop human language competencies. Because for language, for, for the riddle to materialize, for riddle to be useful, for riddle to be passed from one generation to another, it has to encompass language. It uses language as a vehicle. So, in our next uh, part, we shall talk about how flexible that riddle is.